Welcome back to Dear Students of Class 9. Today we will be discussing about covalent bond and it is the continuation of chapter 4. So in our previous video we had discussed about electrovalent bond and electrovalent bond was formed by transfer of electron from metals to non-metals. Okay, so we had discussed. Today we will be discussing about covalent bond. Now covalent bond is formed between say non-metal and non-metal okay suppose you have this molecule say Cl2 chlorine you know this called chlorine molecule it is a gas now how will the bond be formed between chlorine and chlorine you know chlorine's atomic number chlorine's atomic number is 70 its electronic configuration is 2, 8 and 7 and since it has 2 chlorine atoms so another chlorine atom is also involved Cl okay and its electronic configuration is again 2, 8, 7 now in this case in such cases the 7 electrons are present so from somewhere it wants to have one more electron so that it can have 8 electrons and become stable Similarly, in this case also, this chlorine has 7 electrons. So it again wants to gain electron, gain electron and gain one electron and become stable. That is octet configuration. So is it, is it possible that an electron gets transferred here between chlorine and chlorine? It is absolutely not possible. Why? Because both of them, they are in need of what electrons so what they do is they instead of transfer of electron what they do is they come together they share the electron between this chlorine and this chlorine okay one electron from this chlorine and one electron from this chlorine will be mutually shared between these two chlorine atoms in the formation of chlorine molecule in that way they gain their octet configuration and is very stable configuration okay this is why this is why only transfer of electron is not a mode for the formation of a chemical bond okay so let's discuss this in detail now here let's draw its atomic orbit structure first chlorine chlorine first cell Second cell, third cell. So in the first cell, in the first cell, it has two electron, then eight electron, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and in the outermost cell, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven electrons. Similarly, this chlorine also has the same electronic configuration. Innermost cell contains two electrons, one, two. The second innermost contains eight electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the outermost cell contains how many electrons? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. Now what will happen is see. It has how many electrons? Seven electrons. So this is chlorine atom, this is chlorine atom. Till now they haven't come back. Now this Cl2, what does it show? It shows that there is a chemical bond formation between this chlorine and chlorine. That's what we are, we are discussing now. Now what will happen is both of these they will come by, they will come closer, and what they do is they mutually seal their one electron one electron from this chlorine atom will be shared by this now it has seven electrons in the valence cell now if it is shared with this chlorine atom one electron of this chlorine then it's seven plus one will be eight yes or no its octet is complete similarly for this 
Chlorine also, what happens? It has several electrons in the valence. Now one electron from another chlorine atom is being saved by this chlorine atom. Now seven plus one is what? Eight. This is how this is how covalent bond is formed. Can you see? Mutual sharing. That has to be equal sharing. One electron from this at this atom of chlorine. One elect one electron from this atom of chlorine. It has been saved between the two. So this is how this is a bond are formed. This is known as what? Covalent bond. Why it is known as covalent bond? Because it is formed by mutual sharing of electrons between the combining atoms. Now, so this can be written in more detailed form. Okay. So this is the orbit diagram structure. This is atomic orbit structure. Now. Now, this can be shown as what? It can be shown as, say, electron dot structure also. Electron dot structure, this can also be drawn. And in electron dot structure, you have to remember one thing, and this is very important. Electron dot diagrams or structure. Now, in electron dot structure, what, we, what is done is only the valence electrons are considered. Please remember what? Only the valence electron. The outermost cell along with its electron. This innermost cells will not be shown in electron dot structure. This has to be clearly understood. There has to be no confusion. Okay? So, let's draw this one then. So, if I have to draw this then, this is this was what? Atomic orbit structure. Now, from here, I will be taking only the outermost cell. That means, chlorine in the outermost cell have how many electrons? 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This one. Similarly, here, here also, another chlorine atom have how many electrons? 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now this is what? Electron dot diagram or structure. Now this can also be represented as, see, see here, only the electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus another protein atom. It also has how many electrons? 7. Okay, you can represent as this one or this one. What we have done in both the cases, we have considered only the valence electron. That is, chlorine was 17. So, 2, 8, 7. We have considered only this electrons, the valence electron. Please, please don't forget this. Now, whenever they combine, what, how they combine? These two will be shared between the two. And here, these two will be shared between, between the two combining atoms. Okay? Now, this can be now represented as what? You know, this can be represented as you have chlorine. Yes or no? You have chlorine. Now, what they have done is they have shown only the they have shown you only the combining atom. That is the outermost cell. Now, here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Similarly, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So these six electrons, this side, these six electrons, here, six electrons. Now these two electrons, since it's been saved between both this chlorine as well as this chlorine atom, therefore it has to be present within both the circle, that is this chlorine electron and this chlorine electron. Now 
these two are present. See, please remember this part. These two electrons are present within this circle as well as within this circle. What does it mean? It means that it is being shared between this chlorine and this chlorine. Now you can count it. Six electrons here, seven, eight. For this chlorine and for this chlorine, six electrons here, seven, eight. Now its octet is complete. Similarly here, it can be shown as chlorine bonded to chlorine. So this is how you draw electron dot structure. Okay? And this Cl, Cl means what? It is equivalent to Cl2. So you can use any two ways of representing the covalent bond formation by electron dot structure. Okay? So similarly we have other molecules as well. And uh, few of them you have to do it by yourself. Few, most of them are be doing it here on the board. Now, let's discuss about nitrogen. So we are going to discuss about nitrogen molecule. So nitrogen first you have you need to write what you need to write its atomic number seven. So it's electron configuration 2 and 5. 2 plus 5 is 7. Okay? So now here we are discussing about electron dot structure. So you have to remember this one. And here again, what we do is we consider only the valence electron. Nitrogen. Nitrogen. How many electrons? 1, 2, 3, 4. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Similarly, this one also. So, one, two, three. So, these five electrons are taken in the outermost cell. Okay? Here also in the outermost cell. Now, this nitrogen has five electrons in the valence cell. How many? Five. It needs how many? Eight electrons to be stable. So what? It, what can it do? It can. It has five. Now, if its octet, that is eight electrons in the valence cell, has to be complete, then it has to save three from this nitrogen. Yes or no? This three. Okay. This five plus three would be eight. Similarly, for this nitrogen, again it has five electrons in the valence cell. Now, if its octet has to be fulfilled then it needs to save these three electrons from this nitrogen 5 plus 3 would be what? 8 therefore uh, they go for what? they go for mutual sharing of these three electrons on each atom of the nitrogen ok so similarly here you can represent it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now these three, three electrons are same. Okay? Now, what does it mean then? This one, one, two electrons, whenever it is same, see, one electron from here, one electron from this atom. It forms one bond. This electron and this electron will form double bond. This will form triple bond. Two electrons forms one bond here, one bond, double bond, triple bond. Therefore, how many bonds exist between nitrogen or triple bond? Okay, similarly here now you can draw the structure nitrogen. Nitrogen, so it has two electrons here outside this. Here also, how many electrons? Two and how many are being shared? One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is how you draw the electron diagram. Now let's discuss about some other molecule. Okay, so we will be discussing about some other molecule. Let's discuss 
water molecule. Okay, so we are going to discuss about water molecule. So the formula for water is what? H two. The formula for water is H two. So two hydrogens are present. One electron is present on its hydrogen and oxygen. You know oxygen's atomic number is eight. Two six. So six electrons are present in the valence cell. This is oxygen. This is oxygen. This is symbol O. Don't get confused. Thinking it to be a cell. This is oxygen. Okay. So how many electrons are present in oxygen in the valence cell? Six electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Similarly here, in case of hydrogen, let me represent it by another symbol. How many hydrogens are present in water molecule? Two. Therefore, one hydrogen atom will be present here with its only electron. Now, here in water molecule, you can see that this hydrogen has this hydrogen has this one electron only. Now, if it can gain one more electron, then its duplet configuration will be counted. Similarly, for this oxygen, you can count the number of valence electrons. Six electrons are present. So, if it can share two more electrons from any other elements, atoms of the elements, that is here we have, in this case we have one hydrogen, and here we have one hydrogen, then six plus two would be eight. Therefore, they go for mutual sharing of electrons. Once they share this electron, then what will happen? These two electrons are with this hydrogen, therefore its duplet is complete. These two electrons are with this hydrogen also, therefore its duplet is complete. And therefore it becomes very stable. Now please go for oxygen. This oxygen, it had six electrons, plus one is seven, plus one is eight. Therefore its octet is also complete. Therefore, this is how they go for bond formation through sharing of electrons. Now this can also be represented as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oxygen has 6 electrons, hydrogen it has 1 electron, this hydrogen also has 1 electron. So whenever they combine, that is they are combining, okay, this is positive sign, plus sign, what will happen? These two will combine or they will be sharing, mutually sharing of electron takes place. Okay, as a result, what we obtain is we obtain water molecule. Okay, here what we have is this shared pair of electron, it has to be present in both the circle. So oxygen. So this is say this is hydrogen and this is hydrogen. This is oxygen. Outside, how many electrons are present in, in oxygen? Four. And how many electrons are there? Here it has to be present within this circle as well as this circle. Okay? So, here this electron denotes that of hydrogen, and here this denotes that of hydrogen. So this is how you draw the electron dot structure of water molecule. So in the next class we will be discussing more about this electron dot structures of covalent bond. Till then keep practicing. I request you to practice these electron dot diagrams of hydrogen, oxygen, HCO. Okay, that will be your home assignment. Take care. Thank you.